so in this episode i'm going to work on reloading animations so here is the preview you can see in the bottom left the ammo count when the ammo count is over character do the reloading while i do i'll do the reloading i can't shoot okay let's see how to implement this today in this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support right so at the moment uh, i can just keep shooting and you can see in the top bottom left corner the ammo count is reducing but then just it resets so it doesn't play any reload animation so let's look into that part today right first let me open my player character right and the everything related to the gun is happening inside the gun blueprint so yeah here this is the reference to the gun widget class um, and I am updating the bullet count this way so we have we calculate this total uh, we have this access to total ammo count and loaded ammo count let me check where are we update in there inside this check ammo count which is this part right now when i check the ammo count oh, here yeah, i already have this uh, reload gun event i'm already calling it so right where do i have implemented it okay it's like this but here i'm not actually playing any of the reload in animations because this is in the gun itself so how can we play the animation the animation the reload animation should be played in the character because the animation is a character animation this is the gun blueprint so we need to have a way to access it right here let me go to the prayer and class under class settings we have vpi character here i think we should add a new function reload right and also we need to say which type of a reload we should do because there can be um, pistols there can be machine guns so yeah there can be different type of uh, guns but for now i will not worry about it because i only have one type of a gun and as the output we need how much time it we have to spend in on reloading so knowing this would help us to prevent shooting we can stop uh, leaving making bullets leave the gun until that duration is spent right now in the ch soldier i'll create that reload event under shooting and the shooting event graph
oh this is uh, interface actually because we have an output here reload okay so here what we have to do is we have to play anim montage and give the duration of that animation montage now as the animation montage i have already implemented imported no uh, did die oh, ah yeah. i already have this reload in animation uh, but let me promote this to a variable let's call it anim reload and i'll make it on on it and as the default value i'll put oh, this is just the animation i have let me create an animation montage right now let's use it select this here and yes this arrow now it is assigned also do i have any suitable sounds yeah i have and let's assign some attenuation settings of a small range yeah so i'll play that sound here shall we play that in the animation itself reload okay right um, right and now here do we have a reference to the parent no get parent actor right and reload let's call reload oh wait i think we should do it here And before we update the ammo count, we should wait until the reloading is finished. So what's the duration of this? Three seconds. okay i think that's a little too much but let's see if this works first then we can fine tune it all right now once we take the reload path we need to block it here so we can mm, We can add a do once node in here and after reloading is done let's add a sequence uh, 
like this and in the then part let's reset it right shall we check now oh wait oh that's wrong we are doing reload every second Ah, sorry. We have to go all the reloading here. Not in this part. Not in the upper path. Sorry about that. Um, we can move this part completely down. Like this and connect here okay let's test now okay so i don't see the montage why is that well i think let's check the animation montage right and here where do we play the montages We have the upper body montages here. Right, we need to play the reloading in the upper body. So I'll set the slot to upper body. Now let's check. Hmm. Uh, oh, wait a minute. What's the purpose of this layered blend per bone? All right, I think this is the problem. Here, the bone name I have used, this is fine. Here also is fine three yeah so actually we don't have a bone named spine in this skeleton it should be the spine one or two or three so let's try spine one i think that should be the problem right okay let's rest yeah that was the issue okay All right. Okay, so with that we can, yeah, that's all I wanted to do implement in this episode. And with that we can stop this episode. In the next episode, I think I want to work on gun switching, switching to a pistol. Okay, and thanks for watching. So if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. Link could be in the description below. And the project files will be available for the download. So see you in another episode. Goodbye.